Welcome back to Your Go World. On this episode, we visit kite surfing on Aylin Beach and visit coloured sands. Cooktown Botanical Gardens was very pretty and lush, probably the best on this trip, and we didn't have to run from the man eating mozzies. Though we did have to dodge the water sprinklers. They had a good water pressure and could catch you when you least expect it. You wouldn't go hungry in there, though, would you? You've got to be careful because those hose, those um, sprays on those things are. Clock on this. Hmm. The paper bark tree can be used to make vessels to carry things like water, berries, wrapping food and lining ground ovens. The nectar can be made into drinks and the scented flowers taste of honey and are a common food source for insects and birds. The oil is report reportedly an antibacterial and also good for respiratory troubles and catarrh. Do it for the camera. Oh, I'm going to get caught with the blush cudgery. You're no fun. So this is the Coloured Sands campsite. It's cool saying yes. Elim Beach. Elim Beach campsite. And we come down here to do a spot of fishing, but also because it's beautiful. And uh, we just chat to the um, Aboriginal owner, elder, whatever he is, and he's just hilariously funny. So um, it is worth uh, coming down here just uh, just to chat to him, I reckon. Um, but uh, the, the campsite was really beautiful. Um, hopefully, this is going to be a good video because it's uh, if we can get to the places we want to get to. The scenery should be fantastic. So we're on the way to where? Coloured Sands. We're on the way to Coloured Sands and hopefully we'll see some kite surfing whilst we're up there. But there was a croc up here apparently. Yeah, a big three, three meter, three solid, meter solid, solid croc and apparently we will see him. No, maybe. Oh, if he's no, there we'll he, see him. He said that we'll see him. He'll make his presence known. He's not aggressive so he won't actually come and attack us as such.
Canyon Beach is one of the Southern Hemisphere's premier kite surfing hotspots and world class wind conditions are almost guaranteed. Luckily two guys entertained us with their acrobatics. You didn't really think we were going to kite surf did you? Fun facts, the speed record for this sport is 103 kilometers an hour. You would need some strong arms and ab muscles to go that fast. There are also 1.5 million kite surfers in the world and between 100 to 150,000 cells are sold every year. Sorry about the huffing and puffing, but we just climbed up the sand dune. You can see it is a four wheel drive walk up the current sand dune. You have to do all fours. It is steep. But the views are amazing. And yes, it is a killer getting up there and it really does your legs. He's worth the view, it's worth, it's worth the uh, leg pain. I mean, how else could you get such beautiful, uninterrupted views like this? It's hot as well, the sand's hot, isn't it? Wind and rain constantly re-sculpt the cliffs of coloured sands, leaving spectacularly eroded cliff lines of swirling coloured sand. Over thousands of years, iron-rich minerals have stained the sand with complex array of yellow, brown and red hues. If you keep walking on along, there's a ledge on the sand dunes. And this is where you get to see. God, it's so windy up here. It's struggling to hold the camera. <laughs> um, so this is the coloured sands. It's amazing. And I say amazing a bit too many times, don't I? But it is. It goes right down to the porch. And I think this is where you're meant to walk up, isn't it? Through the gorge. Isn't this where you're meant to walk up through the gorge? You can't walk up there. No, 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 I up think here to get walk, to here. No, I think that's the gorge you've walked up. Oh, yeah, there's a winding track up. Yes, there. that's the gorge I said. That's what you're supposed to walk up, I think. Oh, I don't think it goes all the way up. Huh? No, it doesn't Unless go all the way up, up, no. I'm really 
this is where you could do with a nice drone and you could get a really great drone oh, shot. Try to this way. No, it's too windy. But if, if it wasn't so windy, it would make a great drone shot. Are you going to go to the top, eight? I might too, yeah. Okay. Even that nearly killed me. <laughs> I wouldn't mind, but I already did a workout this morning. It's time to walk down the sand dunes. Well, it was more of an uncontrolled run, really. See, I thought we were the only stupid people to climb up here, but clearly not lots of people up here. Oh, it's getting steeper here because you're getting your legs are getting faster. <laughs> <sighs> there is a great forward track along the beach and sand dunes, so we decided to put Bert the Navarra to the test. It was a great opportunity to see what he was capable of before we tackled the old telegraph track to Cape York. And there it is, the beach. Oh, wow, it's like an oasis. Look at that. See why you can't fish then? Because you've got to walk miles to get to the water. Yeah. Know. It's quite cool actually, isn't it? The little trees in the middle of the.
beautiful white sand, though. I didn't know that there was actually a Might find some crab holes here. Is it warm? It's shallow. I bet it is, yeah. It's more shallow and shallow, isn't it? So it's gonna choke to the sun. I'm not really interested in the mangrove bits and if you can see some crabs. Yeah, I want to wanna do some mud crabbing. There's actually a tour on Kui Beach that you can go and, you, and an Aboriginal guide will take you out and he'll teach you how to hunt fish with a spear and um, go mud crabbing. And I wanted to do that, but unfortunately we couldn't do it on this trip. Can't see any. I'm loving the little new shoots coming up, all in a line. This, we're obviously suckers from this really big tree here. Quite cool. All standing to attention. I liked yeah. it. I thought it was a good day out. Yeah. The, the coloured sand, it was, it was a beautiful place down there. So, yeah, we had great fun. Bit of a climb. <laughs> yeah, that was good fun, yeah. Climbing up the sand dune. And it was hard work because it's um, really soft sand and it was also really hot too. Um, yeah, so getting up there, seeing the view from the top was beautiful. Um, but just being there was really nice. go wild, we have to run from the bushfire. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe and share.